introduce us to your friend here. <laughs> C4, the concrete fermenter, resting nicely here, was a very valuable tool during the harvest. Uh, preliminary things that we're seeing from what we fermented in here we really like. So I think there's some hope and some promise for the big dipper uh, that we, we fermented in here. And you're going to keep it out here? Yeah, I'm leaving it out here because you want to keep it uh, you know, dry so you don't have moisture for, you know, it's a micro uh, uh, stability thing. We don't want anything growing. And it's cold out. You can't tell right now. <laughs> but Leslie, you have me out here in, what is it? I don't know, 28 it's degrees. 12 degrees. It is cold. I'm <laughs> freezing. And that'll just keep it to maintain. I, 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 I possibly will take some wine and store it in here. Uh, I'd like to do that. And then some Syrah. Some age it. Probably some Syrah. You might do some Big Dipper uh, Merlot in it. I haven't decided yet, but we'll age some wine in here and just see what we pick up and taste it so often and utilize it as a tool that way as well. Uh, but from right now, like I said, we have tasted some of the Big Dipper lots that were fermented in here side by side, stainless in here. And we're seeing some noticeable differences, which is like you know, highly uh, uh, fruity, more esters. Not positive, we have our theories on why it is that. Uh, possibly could be the, the thermal uh, insulation of this concrete, maintain a nice temperature at about 75 so we've kept the esters in. Uh, and there's also an underlying uh, layer in there as well that right now I'm describing that we've extracted somewhat from this concrete. Uh, it's a minerality uh, for right now. That's cool. Yeah, it's fun. That is, so. I, can we try some? <laughs> no, we don't have enough. <laughs> Oh, darn it. It must stay in barrel for now. <laughs> You'll get to try it right. someday. Okay.